Well, you've seen the title of the video. Being an empath is hard. Very hard, very intense. Y'all, I really be hopping on this camera looking like who did it and why. <laughs> but it's all right, it's good, it's cool. Like, y'all my doo-doos, y'all my people. Like, if you really don't hear judging me like, oh, she this, she that, get off. Anyways, anywho, yeah, y'all, being an empath is hard. And if you don't know what an empath is, an empath is basically a person who has like the paranormal um, ability to, to feel um, the emotions of other people. Like where empaths are like deeply intuitive. We care deeply. We love nature. Um, we struggle with isolation uh we always tired just really due to the fact that we feel everything like and being an empath is so hard y'all and this video ain't gonna be long but i really had to come and vent this off because one i'm um you know i'm little red riding hood right now on my cycle and <clears throat> being um being Little Red Riding Hood, as well as being an empath, it's just, oh, it's a lot. It's a lot, y'all. It's so much because <sighs> there's been so much going on in the world, like a whole, whole lot going on, like tragedies, you know, inflation, Poverty is on the rise, like <clears throat> people passing away, which that's always, I mean, yeah, I know y'all know what I mean when I say like, it just, to me, it just seems like you're, we're constantly bombarded on social media by, you know, the passing of other people and <sighs> it's a lot to take in. It's a lot to take in. It's a lot to um, deal with. It really is. And like, because I feel like with all of this going on, y'all, when I tell you, I could feel the emotions, the, the vibrations of the world, and it's exhausting if you are an empath and if you're feeling this too like please comment below like a thumbs up a, a, or maybe comment a jewel emoji because that's gonna be the thing but um comment that if you like if you or even just make a little sentence whatever you want to say about being an empath but y'all like it's a rough battle for us right now like, I just feel so exhausted every day with everything going on in the world. And it used to get, it used to be to a point where, like, I would channel the energy of the world and the energy of everybody so deeply and so intensely that, like, I would just, like I said, because in past we deal with isolation, I would just isolate myself in the room, like, and just hide, like, because it all just feels so overwhelming and overbearing and I'm like, make it stop. But I read up, I was reading like this, um, you know, this article about being an empath and it had basically mentioned like as an empath, you have to learn how to not hold on to energy that is not yours. I repeat, if you are an empath, you have to learn how to let go of energy that is not your own energy. Meaning that all those different energies and stuff that we be feeling of everybody else, we gotta, we have to be able to recognize, is this my energy that I'm carrying or is it somebody else's? You know what I'm saying? Like, especially if you go somewhere, you around, 
you know, a group of friends, family, co-workers, and there happens to just be that one, like, extremely negative person with that strong negative energy, and then it just latches onto you, then all of a sudden you realize, oh, I'm being negative too, because as an empath, we recognize their emotion, we feel their emotion, and we just hold on to it, like, gotta let it go, you have to just recognize, like, that is not mine to carry, that is not my energy to carry, let it go, and you got to recenter yourself and be more like, okay, hmm, this is me. That good energy, that love energy, that, you know what I'm saying? Have to practice that. Have to work on that because other than that, it's going to be rough. And we don't, I mean, with the world being what it is, like, we don't need to make it even harder on ourselves, you know what I'm saying, it's already a struggle every day, and <clears throat> we gotta do everything in our power to stay centered, build that relationship with our Heavenly Father, learn of Him, learn of Him, and really do your best to connect, because, hold on, people texting my phone while I'm doing, there's a, uh, I'll get to that. But um, yeah, build that relationship. Learn of our Heavenly Father. Because the more you strengthen that relationship, the the easier it's going to be to get through this, to get through all of this. Because it's hard on everybody, y'all. Everybody going through it. Let me tell you. Even the ones with the money is going through it. Understand. Don't be fooled. Because everyone, the, the real battle right now is a spiritual battle. And y'all, May the strong win. That's all I'm going to say. But like I said, this video ain't long. I just had to come and vent that off, y'all, because I just been feeling this shift happening in the world. And it's just really been, it's been on me a little bit. And I'm trying to keep myself distracted by doing other things like, getting back to YouTube and focusing more on, you know, just handling my business, doing what I got to do and strengthening my spirit because, yo, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm so exhausted with everything going on in the world. I'm tired. Please. Heavenly Father, have mercy. And um, in case y'all wondering, Ain't nothing. This is just orange juice. It ain't no mimosa. I wish it was a mimosa. Cause if it was a mimosa, I would have been. It probably would have been gone. Actually, it would have been gone already. I wouldn't even been sick. Of, I would have been like. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So, sending love. I'm sending a ton of love energy. Mm, 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 mm. A ton of positive vibes. And I hope y'all have an amazing day. Don't hold on to energy that is not yours. Let it go. Recognize your energy versus somebody else's energy. Don't carry that shit. It ain't yours. Anyways, anything else I got to say? I think I'm good. Adios.